Hello and welcome. It's been two days since I've uploaded any videos, which is depressing because I've been trying to find the time to do it, um, to get any games up, but I haven't had a chance to, and it's not my fault because I have literally not had a quiet enough space to record in for the past two days, but for the next two or three days, I have the room to myself, and hopefully there should be no na no noise. It's fall break at my college. We had a two-day fall break, so a Monday and a Tuesday. It's nice. Um, a wonderful fall break. But uh, anyway, my roommate's gone for the weekend, and that means that I'm going to have a lot of time to cast. I also have to catch up on a lot of homework, unfortunately, but um, I should be able to catch up on casting, which is good. Now... Today is obviously Zotac number 262, and it's kind of late in the day for me to get started with this. I've been kind of staying up at night a little bit later than I meant to in the past two days. Uh, but at any rate, we're into this game. This is going to be the quarterfinals between Inquisitive Hawk, of course. He uh, makes very far into Zotac every week. Versus, or I should probably have introduced this color, but anyway. Versus the Blue Elf Saturn, IOV, set dot Saturn, playing as the Blue Night Elf up in the upper left. And of course, just to introduce Hawk, he is the light blue human on the lower left side of the map. Of course, this map is Amazonia. And we're going to, looks like we're going to see an AOW creep. Oh, let me, sorry. I always forget to disable mouse scroll sometimes. Uh, but there we go. We're going to see some Demon Hunter with AOW creeping action. We're going to have a scout footman coming over here. We did have a scout militia coming in here to build a farm in Saturn's base. Of course, building that farm is always annoying for the elf to deal with. He has to plant his AOW down beside it if he wants to kill it at some point. Uh, and usually they want to use their AOW to go around and creep the map. So a lot of times those just stay up for some time. Providing a lot of valuable scouting information. Here is a scout footman coming in here just to do a bit of harass to this archer. Going to drain some moonwell juice. Sometimes you can use that as a telltale sign that you're going to get tower rushed. Usually that's not the case, but I've seen it happen. Uh, it's something that you probably I've seen people want very much to do, but in this case, it's pretty much just him. Well, at least I'm guessing it's probably just him, uh, just trying to cause some extra havoc up here, make Saturn sweat a little bit, and do some additional harass, I guess you could say. Now over here we're going to see Hawk has done head and ALW crap, or not, <laughs> Militia crap to study. Let's go ahead and get a Gloves of Haste, a Tome of Strength, and a Mantle of Intelligence, which is a really nice item for the Hawk to get. Um, Essentially, that's going to make him do more damage. Both items are damage increasing. And, of course, the Mantle of Intelligence also is nice because it gives him more mana, which is an issue when you're going to get mana burned. Of course, he does have Brilliance Aura, and Brilliance Aura is something you can deal with, but it's not a huge issue. It looks like something just happened there. I'm not sure exactly what that was. Maybe the elf had tried to build something. It looks like one of those mud golems came over there. Uh, I probably should have saw that, but... um. Sorry. Anyway, we're going to see over here for the Demon Hunter, also with some really nice damage items. Claws of Tank plus 6, it goes ahead and kills off that Water Elemental, taking a little bit more experience, and a Slippers of Agility plus 3. Nice items for the Demon Hunter coming over here to the shop. Might go ahead and try to buy a Boots off speed as well. I don't know if it's spawned just yet, but it's about to if it's not spawned, and it looks like he might just be waiting for that Boots of speed. There it is, uh, just waiting for it to spawn. As you can see, it spawns a little bit of 1900 there, and uh, is when it spawns. And here we're going to see come down here, Inquisitive Hawk, Militia creeping out this natural gold mine. Is he going for an expansion? If we look into his base, it looks like he may very well be going in for the expansion. We have the Demon Hunter in here trying to get the Jack, uh, the Creep Jack, and it looks like he's not going to get anything. Going ahead and stealing Immolation as a second ability. And we're going to see a potion of greater mana being picked up, and that Demon Hunter actually going to go down to a really nice bit of damage and harass from Inquisitive Hawk, using that Archmage to target him as he runs away so that he feels slightly comfortable not being attacked by that Archmage, taking a little bit more damage perhaps, maybe that's what it was, uh, maybe he just mismicromanaged that a little bit as well, I'm not too sure what happened, but either way, in any case, we do see him going to go ahead and Tavern Revive, that level 2 Demon Hunter, he's going to run straight back down here to this expansion where Inquisitive Hawk is currently building a Town Hall as well as a Scout Tower with these low HP peasants, a couple of them are low HP, a couple of them are not. And just trying to use that Demon Hunter to pick off some units. Not so far. So far has not killed anybody. We'll go ahead and kill this one, it looks like. Yes, down goes one. However, it looks like he's almost trapped. Not quite trapped. I'm going to go ahead and take down a second peasant. Now he's going to be forced to TP out. Over here, we're going to see these archers back in the base just doing a little bit of damage to this farm. Will he be able to actually go ahead and do something uh, with this bit of harass now that he has done a little bit of damage to it? Uh, here is the Tree of Ages about to finish. That is a tier two for him. Over here, we're going to see Inquisitive Hot creeping out this right here. The Blade, or the Demon Hunter going to run right by this Archmage's Creep. 
Creep, uh, so he's going to see this as it gets, it's essentially going to be scouted. We do have a couple of more mm, peasants coming back in here to try to help uh, build this back up again. We do have the panda being picked up for Saturn. Uh, it looks like this arcing tower, as it's going up, is going to go down. And we do see a breath of fire going off. Going to go ahead and pick off one peasant. And it looks like a second peasant is going to go down. And Saturn now going ahead and focusing on the third peasant. It looks like that one's going to go down as well. We do have an Inquisitive Hawks Water Elemental. Is it going to get picked off? I don't know who got that experience right there. It might have just faded. Uh, then is a possibility we do see an archer going down a uh, footman being microed out of this fight taking some damage as well looks like another foot archer is going to go down down goes that second archer so no more archers for the elf player going to go ahead and actually pick up the tome of health as well as the cloak of shadows that the archmage left after he finished creeping this little uh, bit out right there and not going to be able to do too much right there you can go ahead and the elf is going to be putting up two ancient of lures which is going to be nice we do see the elf player coming around and circling back around into this expansion uh, we do see two scout towers uh, just now finishing but however neither one of them have the ability to uh, actually do any damage right now we see a footman being picked off two low hp footmans down here we're gonna see another breath of fire coming here one of these uh, this arcane tower right there is gonna be forced to cancel and we do see another footman going down yes indeed looks like a third footman going down we have three low hp footmen right here in this base and it looks like all of them are gonna go down we do see them in the peasant line now harassing a little bit we do see some militia coming in here and we do see this rest of the human army actually over here trying to pick off some wisps as well as this ancient of lore Will that be enough to force Saturn to TP back? It looks like not quite yet. Uh, as you can see, he actually doesn't have a TP anymore now that I remember that. Uh, I forgot he did have to use that earlier when he was down here harassing. We do see a lot of these. It looks like maybe four or five of these peasants have died since then. We do see an Ancient of Protector being thrown down by Saturn. But there is a Goblin Treader coming in here to go directly onto that Protector. So that Protector is going to get canceled. Or not canceled. It didn't get canceled. It just died. Here we do see Saturn picking up a Shredder as well and to his base. And we're going to see now it looks like Saturn being forced to back off as these wisps in this gold mine are going to be starting to take a little bit of focus fire none of these wisps in the gold mine have died just yet however they are taking a lot of damage you do have only two of them that are pristine and one of them now going back all five of them back into that base or back into the gold mine and here comes the demon hunter running in here now trying to prevent desperately trying to stop this from going down I'm going to pull these wisps back out one wisp going down does he have enough gold? He has enough gold at this point to continue making wisps. As you can see, he has 236 gold, but he is down a wisp on this gold mine. Lost most, if not all, of his wood wisps. There goes, uh, nope, nope, none of the other wisps that died yet. They were getting some damage put onto them, but they were micro nicely in and out of that gold mine. Just trying to get as much repair off. It looks like this gold, oh, is it going to go down? It goes down, and now these wisps are in some serious trouble if they get right clicked by these footmen or these water, this water elemental. It looks like there's some trouble. Here one, level two, nice haze fire being picked, used to pick off the remainder of those footmen, all of those footman just going down uh, with only one left at very low HP and we do see the shredder from Hawk as well as that footman and water elemental being used to cancel that gold and tangled gold mine yet again there goes the other final footman and the archmage is being chased around by this demon hunter who has boots of speed now and the Archmage goes ahead and picks up two nice items for regeneration. And the Demon Hunter decides he's going to try to cancel these building towers. However, it's not going to happen simply because of the fact that here we do see uh, it just now finished. And we do see a Zeppelin coming in here from Hawk. And however, getting picked up into that building, but not quite before uh, Saturn was able to go ahead and cancel his regeneration healing and clarity potion. Now, that'll be a little bit unfortunate, which means he's not healing during this. We see a Dryad is out on the map. There's a Saturn's Wisp right there. And who we do see? this ancient of lore this is indeed where it came from however hawk has found it and he's going to go ahead and try to pick that off with his goblin shredder perhaps he used a saper to get at this low i'm not sure but either way we're going to see that this dryad is coming out uh will this dryad be a match for this archmage and shredder no sir it will not but it's going to run away trying to kite a little bit here and do as much damage as possible now inquisitive hawk trying to go for um that wisp i think he did indeed get that wisp and it looks like this game is not looking too good for saturn at this point he no longer has any tier two buildings his resource counts fairly low and his wisp count is also fairly low he has six wisps right now maybe seven seven wisps yes indeed seven uh gonna go ahead and kind of try to get back onto this that clarity did get used but it did just get canceled right there from that breath of fire a little bit of not quite fast, uh, fast enough from hawk to get picked back up into that goblin shredder or get back pick up into that goblin zeppelin i'm sorry and uh here we do see him just trying to do as much damage as possible while he can getting get mana burned on the ground and gonna be forced to run all the way out at this point we do see another ancient of lore going up will that water elemental decide to go for that instead of chasing this dryad it looks like nope it's just gonna keep chasing the dryad trying to get out of there 
Over here we do see the Demon Hunter running around the map. And let's look back down here. This is a Blacksmith going up from Hawk at the expansion. That shop is almost dead, but not quite. And here is Castle Tech coming in from Hawk as well as a Blood Mage second. What a hero choice. A Blood Mage second is always interesting to see. Here we do see that Saturn's Ancient of Lore on its way up. Uh, here is the second. Er, this is the shop, I'm sorry, going up as well at this point. And that gold mine, Tingled Gold Mine, a little bit low. But there is, um, yes, there is the second Ancient of Lore down there. That shop going to go ahead and go down. It was at 88 HP, so not a lot of HP to go at. And that Zep, the Archmage, very low at this point. Does he have a healing scroll? No, he does not. He has nothing at this point to really do anything. You can go ahead and try to put up another shop. Going to go down. Or getting immediately canceled by this elf player right here. Who's essentially just trying, trying to prevent this from going up. Because he does not want that Archmage to get healed. And it looks like here comes that Blood Mage. We're going to see one of these peasants going down. Archmage, or the Demon Hunter taking a fair amount of damage. Is he going to go ahead and try to kill it? He's going to go ahead and pick off that Dryad with that uh, Blood Mage. Very nicely done. And going to go ahead and keep that Archmage in the Zeppelin as long as he can. While it is not while, while ever it is in danger. Now over here we're going to see... Uh, Looks like they're going to cancel that shop yet again. Nicely done. We do see uh, a peasant being picked up in the Zeppelin. Maybe that was a, might have been a mistake. I'm not sure why, why exactly he did that. But either way, we're going to see it looks like uh, some mana being passed over to the Archmage from this Blood Mage. Nicely done enough to go ahead and get that Water Elemental out. And now we do see two workshops being built over here at this uh, other expand or the main base for Inquisitive Hawk. Now... There's really nothing to prevent this Demon Hunter and this Panda from canceling these buildings, so it looks like they're going to get canceled. Uh, we do see, of course, the the human player coming up here, buying a, picking up another Shredder from down here, uh, and just going to try to prevent anything from happening, trying to prevent losing his Archmage. That's a big deal. Keeping that in that Zeppelin really nicely to have, and that Panda just doesn't have any mana right now at all. That Archmage is going to come back down. Here comes the Demon Hunter, going to go ahead and get another mana burn off. That Archmage is incredibly low on HP right now. Uh, will he survive another mana burn? Probably not. He is very, very low, but it's okay because that our shop is now done. He's down to 20 HP. Of course, he does regenerate life while he is in the Zeppelin, so it's not a huge issue. Over here, we're going to see it looks like this is probably going to get canceled yet again. Yes, indeed, there it gets canceled one more time. Siege Engine on its way out. Uh, this Archmage actually going to get caught in a kind of a bad spot there. He could die to a mana burn. Uh, it looks like he's just going to die to auto attack, and down goes the Archmage. Now, here we do see Hawk's uh, Blood Mage now running away, trying to get over to the Zeppelin. I think he just meant to bring that Zeppelin, but wasn't quite fast enough to bring it out there. Um, Quite unfortunate for Hawk. He's going to go ahead and get that Paladin out as his third hero and then rebuild his Archmage as soon as he gets a chance. Going Knights and Tanks. Interesting build. Interesting choices. Over here for the Elf, you can see he started his Tier 3 tech at this point. He still has that Shredder, of course, and a couple of 3 Wisps that look like uh, on wood. And between the Goblin Shredder, that'll be plenty, I think. Now we do see he's at 40 food going ahead and putting up a Moonwell to get him up to 50 food. Nicely done. We've got a Wisp running around somewhere. I'm not sure where he's going. It looks like he might be trying to go for an expansion right here. That would certainly be a good choice. It does have a bear out at this point. It is a adept training. Uh, abolished magic being researched for those Dryads. And here we're going to see perhaps a Tavern. Yes, indeed, Taverning the Archmage instead of trying to rebuild, re rebuild it because it is a level 4 Archmage, which means it could take a while. What you see is actually picked up a Staff of Sanctuary as well. We're going to see a scout going in here from this Goblin Zeppelin, perhaps going to scare Saturn a little bit because that could be housing um, a deadly attack force from Hawk. But it's not actually going to be housing a deadly attack force from Hawk this time around. Here we do see the Demon Hunter down here creeping this while the Panda Creep finishes off this creep up here. And yes, indeed, there is an expansion going down right there. We can hear the tank is on these moon wells. Will there be enough wisps around to repair is the question because he is relying on the Shredder for wood. Uh, and that's going to be the question. Here we do see it looks like another Ancient of War being placed down. Of course, these are useful to have when you have an excess of Ancient of Wars. is very nice when you're dealing with Siege Engines because Siege Engines can be a pretty mighty annoyance. Over here we're going to see it looks like the Archmage is going to go ahead and staff out that uh, tank. Going to go ahead and heal it all the way back up to full while it's in the Staff of Sanctuary. And then it can come back out and do some more harass. Very nice by play by Hawk to do that. Now we do see it looks like this is going to be a fight going off. Who's going to win this fight? Who is the victor here? It looks like Hawk might be able to win this fight. Um, but who knows? We do see a Dryad very low HP being staffed out. 
Now that panda or the, the the paladin taking a little bit of focus fire right now, and that's going to be unfortunate. He might go ahead and actually lose this paladin. It looks like that's likely to happen. Yes, down goes that paladin. Watch here comes it is uh, the demon hunter goes ahead and takes out the paladin. It looks like with that demon hunter into this fight, that Saturn is going to win this fight fairly easily at this point. Going to try to finish off that dryad. Will he be able to? He could. Unless it can get staffed out. Is the staff cooldown going to be in time? Nope. Actually, it looks like it's just going to run away. And it's the knight's also getting staffed out. The very low HP knight. Are we going to see a switch over here? Yes, indeed. A switch to the blood mage. Trying to take out that blood mage. Mana burning it. But uh, right here now at this base. Not going to be as concerned because he does have a shop right here where he can buy a potion of healing without too much of an issue. Now, we do see that siege engine is going to be coming over this way. When, and this goblin trader actually doing a little bit of damage to this farm as well as this dryad while they're waiting in their base. Um... Nothing too big, too major of an issue. We do see the siege engine running in. I don't know if Hawk knows about the expansion that Saturn currently has. It's a possibility that he does not, but he also might. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like we're going to see Hawk running the siege engine in here just to provide a constant distraction while he comes over here to creep out this mercenary camp. This mercenary camp is going to be able to do a fair amount of damage to that water elemental, but uh, then he can just use the knight to tank off the rest of that if he wants. He'll be fine. And we do see that Paladin coming in. Now, of course, Saturn is at a disadvantage right now. Of course, he's just had some really big issues with his economy in this game. But his army is doing fairly well at this point. He's going to have to do something to deal with these tanks. As you can see, he's trying to get up enough Ancient of Wars to deal with them. Uh, because tanks otherwise can be a massive nuisance. We do see one tank just stuck right there with trees. We do see, of course, Hawk going to open his base up using two Shredders. That's right, he has a ton of wood, as you can see. Two Shredders is just an insane amount of wood. And it looks like he's actually perhaps blocking his base off right here. I'm not sure if this will let a Siege Engine through or not. Uh, who knows? But it looks like we're actually going to see maybe a switch to Mortar Teams. Maybe the tanks, just a couple of tanks were a distraction. Maybe they're trying to get Saturn to make too many Ancient of Wars in his base. Uh, at this point, of course, going Mortars would be a great idea because Mortars have a huge benefit. Uh, we already see six Wands of Illusion charges being used on these Knights. This could cause a GG from Saturn if he doesn't realize those Knights are fake. Um... <laughs> I'll have to wait and see will he figure that one out because that is a lot of knights right there. And here we do see it looks like he probably will be able to figure that out fairly easy as you can tell. The uh, They take extra damage and that breath of fire just did a lot of damage to those fake knights. However, it looks like, yes indeed, Hawk does know very well about the fact that there is an expansion up right here. And here comes in all of these fake knights. Six fake knights. Absolutely a hugely scary number of knights. Uh, just ridiculous. And... Uh, is just going to be able to roll over this here little expansion, even though these illusions don't actually do any damage. Um, it's just kind of the scare factor there. We do see some more knights. There are plenty of real knights as well at this point, though. Now you can see it's almost as many real knights as there were fake knights a second ago. Uh, and in fact, yes, there are three, six, seven, seven real knights at this point. That's a huge number of knights. You don't really want to have to fight that. Eight numbers of knights. We do see an eighth knight coming in here to the back. There are two zero knights. Uh, and they do have their health HP upgrade that you can research from the barracks, which is a nice item to have. And here we do see one of these Druids of the Claws, these bears, two of these bears being banished, which is really nice for removing them from the fight. They can't actually do any damage. They can't take any physical damage, but with the fact that they can't do melee damage is well worth it. Of course, it looks like both of them just have been dispelled. Another ball, another bear back into abolish at this point. Some nice staff usage from both players. It uh, looks like a knight now going to go ahead and get abolished so he can get healed. And whenever you're abolished, you take 66% more magic damage and healing. So nicely done. We do see that paladin taking some focus fire right there. Uh, going to try to run away from this demon hunter. Will he get staffed out? The staff is on cooldown, I do believe. Uh, so he may very well just die. Does he have a divine shield? Nope. The divine the paladin goes down. Um, nicely done by Saturn. However, his base is in disarray. These mortar teams are just wreaking havoc right now. And that demon hunter now at level 5 versus level 5 in the Archmage. Who's going to win this fight? It looks like the Archmage can be forced to run away, but there are so many units that are just low HP from this elf, uh, and so many knights, really, just so many knights. Now that Panda also taking some damage, we see a nice banish in onto the uh, Archmage to try to keep him alive. Going to get Mana Burn, taking a little bit extra damage, but it's not going to be enough to kill him. Down to 10 HP, and GG is called by Saturn. Good game. So... 
that's game one of the quarterfinals between Hawk and Saturn. We're going to cast game two. We'll get right into that here in just a second. You can click right there if you want to skip my post coast post commentary analysis. It's really just banter at this point. I just I just like to scroll through all of these so people can see them. I always know that I like to look at the stats um, just for a second myself. So if you want to see game two, just click right here, and I'll see you guys there. <laughs> 